Hello there, this is Carl and welcome to another super exciting review and look at another piece of software. So today I'm going to be reviewing Motion Design 2. I'll just go through a couple of the models just to have a look at them um, and see how we fare up. So I hope you enjoy this quick review. So you installed it, it's now in um, Element uh, V2. We're going to click on it and as you can see we are presented with a hell of a lot of models in this pack. The amount of models in this pack is actually frightening. So I'm not going to go through them all because obviously that will take forever. But what we will do is look at some of the most exciting ones um, and relevant ones really, um, even though they're all relevant, um, just to see how they look. So uh, first one is beams. Um, as you can say, see we're presented with a lot of um, industrial beams. So let's just um, click one, and as you can see, as always, um, you know, video code pilot don't scrimp when they come to detail and just pure quality. Um, so we've got a beam here. What you use that for is a different story, but it's still very, very nice, and I'm sure um, it will come in handy. We've got a beam here which looks like a, a, a you know, it could be an engine or. Uh, mechanical part of a ceiling or anything you want really so some really good stuff here so let's get rid of that uh, let's just scroll down a little bit that looks like a lightsaber if you look at it that could you could pass it off as a lightsaber I suppose uh, which is very very cool um, all um, textural you know you can you know texture certain parts like the plastic for instance we could turn it into the chrome uh, the gloss black if we go to presets pressures two let's go to metals uh, we could add a nice brushed um, aluminium to that so all editable uh, within v2 okay so let's get rid of that um, bionic cores we've got um, which is cool um, a lot of models in there we've got some buttons uh, which is always handy uh, we've got some capsules we've got chains which is very very cool we've got cloth which I just absolutely love I think cloths are absolutely fantastic and very very useful um, components so we've got various components um, you know so for set dressings and stuff like that which is cool let's get rid of that um, and loads of others here you know these can you know add various lighting in here I have got a uh, backlight as well uh, which always comes in handy but you can sort of open this up um, your light here um, you can change as well so if we go to our physical shaders I can get that drop that on the light and as you can see you know we've made changes to the light um, we can sort of come down here and play around with all the different um, components of that light uh, which is great um, like for instance this we can click on that and just play around with the different colors as you can see let's sort of scroll down as you can see we're having changing of our colors on the fly which is great um, and very very cool so let's just move on with some more models as always some more detailed models models here uh, Crash primitives, um, very very cool, um, very very cool um, models here, as you can see, as always. Uh, let's scroll down, and see crystal clusters. This is cool. This is very cool because you could literally uh, use that as a wasteland. Do you know what I mean? Uh, put your spaceship over it, you know, texture it with a nice blue. <laughs> yeah. You know, do some really cool stuff with this. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's have a look what else we got. Gaskets. So these are obviously gaskets for engines. We have grills here, which is very useful. Hardware, which is cool. We've got things like nuts and bolts, as you can see here. We've got nuts and bolts, and also fully, fully customizable. Um, even though it's only um, stick a chrome on there turn it into a glass you know anything we want really 
So, hinges we have, like for instance brackets, you know, stuff like that you can use for like a robot scene, put a TV on it, whatever you want really. That would actually be a really cool TV bracket. Um, liquid, um, which is in uh, Motion Design uh, 1, uh, but this one's a lot more detailed because of what you can do. You can do a quick blood splatter instantly in there. Which is great. Uh, mechanic. Um, loads of sort of mechanical devices that you can use. Again, these lights are fully editable, which is great. You know, you just open it up. You know, you've got your two lights here, so you can drop a light on here. And they're the top ones, and then you can drop a light on the bottom, and then fully customize uh, the lights in that, which is great. Organic. Um, organic they do have an organic in um, uh, motion design version 1 uh, which is great you can make that like ectoplasm whatever you want really uh, which is cool pistons which is a really good one you've got like those of sort of like engine parts and things like that you can use within your projects ribbons and badges so you can use these and put text in them um, and do whatever you want with them. Rockets, um, or shall I say rocks. Rocks always come in handy man, always love getting rocks because rocks are good for like asteroid fields, explosions, debris, uh, so on and so on. Screens, which is very good. Screens is awesome to do some 3D sort of screens uh, within your composition. Seamless backdrops, this is also absolutely fantastic. These are full light backdrops. These are, so you can put models in these um, to add a bit of flair. Shields, which is cool. Uh, tech components, which is also very, very cool. Things like this is just awesome. Awesome models. And again, lights are fully customizable, as you can see. You can have them whatever color you want. You just go to your color picker and just change the colors to how you see fit. Tech parts. Let's just get rid of that. Um, so more unusual technical tech parts here for set dressing. Tubes and pipes finally and tubes and pipes always come in handy. Uh, for set dressing in the scene um, you could also use these as sort of you know design them as weapons and things like that you know you can do it until you sort of heart's content really I mean that looks cool brilliant so yeah again video compile I've done it again they, you know they're providing another great motion design pack um, absolutely first rate these packs are I would recommend the purchase because there's so much potential within these for set dressing uh, so on and so on um, it's unreal so um, again you know all in all fairness you know respect to the video co-pilot for this pack um, and I really do hope you've enjoyed this quick look and review uh, as always guys thanks for listening stay tuned for the next video this is going to be Pro Shaders 2 uh, just having a quick look at that and then the third video after that we'll be looking at backlights um, in a uh, review standard so guys as always thanks for listening thanks for your support um as always i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot ciao ciao